Hey everybody, how you doing today? Shadow Man here. Today I got a brand new GTA 5 video for you. And we're here at the Maze Bank Tower. And I'm kind of studying the symbol. There's a few things about it that intrigue me. When it comes to this location being significant. The Maze Bank logo right here, as you can see, this shade of red is actually the same shade of red that you can find on the painting in Franklin's home. It has an X on it, and it has what looks like silhouettes of buildings in downtown Los Santos. Now, they kind of fit together, these two look almost like E's. Animals form like the Epsilon signal. Now another thing, when I was searching around here, Maze Bank Tower recently, I was noticing these little cutouts. They look like the tops of arrows in a way. As if the tower's being pointed at. And they're all around could just be a slight architectural thing, but I find it funny that it looks like, you know, they're all pointing inward towards the tower. It's like saying, here, there's something here. And I started this hunt again around the Maze Bank Tower because I actually got a little message in my comment section from TrueStar I'll leave a link in the description. He's an awesome guy, great channel. He uh, told me there was something else here. Something else at the maze. Let's say I interpreted something else at the maze incorrectly. So I came back over here. Just kind of searching around. Found out these palm trees are destructible. That was new. And it really fascinates me how they have this trail. This red trail. Which is, once again, that red. That's the same shade that you see all over the game. But for one, in that painting that's in your in Franklin's house. With the X on it. And across the street, I found this. Now, this of course is another bank across the street, but, you know. And then, what's interesting is as I'm going around the maze bank, I'm finding all these people that are talking about Epsilon around me. So I actually visit there as Franklin, but as you can see, I, I couldn't get in. It says I was an unsavable. So I went, okay, wait, what if this is reminding me of the other kind of cult that Franklin is supposed to join? So we have the Ultras uh, that, you know, Trevor actually takes people to for sacrifice and stuff. And we have Epsilon for Michael. So I was like, you know what? I haven't done anything with Franklin's. So I went through the program here for the Children of the Mountain. Children of the Mountain, Mountain, Mountain. And of course they have a, another typical kind of scheme right here where you have to do kind of like a personality test and, I mean kind of set up like Epsilon was. Now, there's this little puzzle right here where you have to try to spell out words. A lot of people are saying it's kind of impossible to get it exactly right. You still pass through it if you get a few right. And the password in the beginning is actually futility, the password to get in. And then the uh, second password is uh, actuality. And that gets you to level four. So you could actually texted those or emailed those from uh, Brother Adrian who's actually the leader of this organization and Brother Adrian actually was referenced uh, I believe in Grand Theft Auto 4 and I think even Vice City I think it might have just been Grand Theft Auto 4 and it might have been 3 if it was 4 or 2 because 3 was in Liberty City I'd have to go back and listen to the radio on there 
but as you get through here you can see it's the same kind of idea but the maze bank has the interlocking parts of the maze bank logo right each one of them is like an E shape it has three prongs on it interlocked it made me feel like there's some synergy between the three kind of programs or spiritual cult like kind of stuff that each character gets involved with and that those are almost like triggers possibly for something bigger now in the game files I've heard it mentioned by a lot of people that you can actually fly a UFO in the game or the interior of a UFO is supposed to be able to load if there is a specific character that is I think it's the UFO on Mount Chiliad a specific character and it's actually a character wearing a specific outfit and to me at first I thought this was the the hundred percent shirt you get you know the I love Los Santos shirt but I tried taking that with Franklin up to uh, to the top of the mountain now nothing necessarily happened now I was really curious about what was gonna happen if I actually got the shirt from from this because I didn't realize you get you get some kind of you know garb not necessarily like an epsilon row but you get a shirt but I'm gonna do another video that's gonna be coming this week probably within the next few days where I actually test this I take Franklin up to Mount Chiliad with the Children of the Mountain shirt that I get and the issue the only thing that's that's uh, it's making me wait until until the next video is I actually need to figure out how on a console I can predict the weather so that I don't have to use cheats to get the UFO to show up with the rain because as everybody knows from the mural that's in Los Santos with the the two uh, the two arms and the two hands together it, it talks about literally like basically don't cheat which makes I mean there's lots of hints all over the the Los Santos and all over the world here in uh, GTA 5 that kind of tells us that we're not gonna find the answers to like the Chiliad mystery or anything like that by hacking or modding or like really cheating I feel like it's been either like I've said before heavily encrypted or it's not there yet but as you can see you get a certificate the questions were a little bit funny and ridiculous and this was actually this was actually really fascinating because I really felt like the Epsilon outfit was gonna be really significant with say like the UFOs and possibly the Chiliad mystery unlocking. It still might be, but I don't know, this this feels like it's much more relevant to this whole thing, being that the whole title of this organization or cult is Children of the Mountain. Now you get a text or an email later on that actually says we'll be bugging you with our more advanced programs and stuff. So it makes me think possibly there's more missions. It's not part of the 100% of the game. So I'm wondering where this path goes down to. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you uh, haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. We have new Grand Theft Auto content coming out every week. I throw a few other kind of videos out there of uh, different kind of games and everything like that that comes out. I'll be playing Outlast soon. And um, I hope you, yeah, enjoy this video. So smash that like button to see more content like this. And we'll uh, catch you next time.